Hi guys, Happy New Year. Welcome back. Today we are going to be fitting a pedal box. Now, what this piece of equipment is, if you don't already know, is a pedal box. However, it's not a normal pedal box in the way that you would have in your normal road car. Most road cars have pedals hung from underneath the dash and operate in that fashion. Now, this will be mounted to the floor with the master cylinders underneath my feet and they will operate like this. If you've got a BMW, then throw is similar already. Now, why would you fit one of these? Well, in my case, the car doesn't have any pedals and I need some. Um, but another reason for installing a pedal box like this is because you have two master cylinders and you can adjust the brake bias front and rear on the fly on one of these. I'm not going to be running a brake servo. Uh, I'm not going to be running ABS. So it makes the installation fairly simple. The difficult thing is making it fit in the car. In my case, the space in the car. There isn't much, so I'm going to have to cut some of the bulkhead to get this in. Um, no time like the present. Let's crack on. So here we are in the footwell, and as you can see, there is already a little window there. Now, it doesn't go straight through Fred Flintstone style out the underside of the car. It is actually twin skin. Um, it is from around this point here anyway, where you can see the spot welds. Um, it's twin skin all the way down to about this point here on the floor, um, which means that I should be able to cut this open. Um, I'll obviously have to plate it out and give myself something to fix to. Uh, but that should be okay. Obviously the cage in the car is quite substantial so there shouldn't be any issue in cutting a little bit of sheet metal out of the floor pan. I suppose I best get cutting. Ilya, these are for you. Good call. Okay, to answer your question, no, I didn't expect that to be there. And yes, that is the front subframe bolt. Obviously that was a little bit of an oversight. However, it's got to go in there. Otherwise, well, I've got no brakes. So what I will do is I'm going to have to reinforce that now that I've cut a few bits out. Not a huge problem, um, but it's just an extra thing I've got to do. So I'm going to try and see if I can get this pedal box to kind of fit into place now. Right, so this plate is around about the rough shape and size of the pedal box. So just using this as a bit of a guide, um, this shows me that I need to take a little bit more out of here. And if I can take a little bit more out of here, it will go further back. And if I take a little bit more out of here, it will go further down. So I'm going to mark that up. Uh, and cut a bit more away. Fortunately, I don't think the bolt is going to get in the way. Um, but yeah, that will enable me to go quite low with the pedal box, which is, uh, is good because my feet were quite close to the steering column just up here. See up there, the steering column's just there. Um, so the top of my feet would have been either side of this and the last thing I want is to get my foot caught on that whilst I am going round track so the lower I can get it the better and obviously the further forwards I can get it 
then uh, I've got a bit more leg room and my my seat doesn't have to be forced right up against the cage which is a, a good thing but I am going to try and mark this up and take a little bit more out of here so I'm going to do that now so here we are that escalated fairly quickly so as it sits it can go back a little bit further than that can go back another inch um, but what I'm going to do is just double check the position get the seat in the car and see how that pedal position feels that should be all right I know it's fairly close to the column just up here but you should be kind of ball of your foot there so your toes are here so there should be enough clearance there um, I've only got little girl feet anyway so I'll have my uh, size fours dancing on those but yeah bigger hole than I was expected to do but needs must and uh, you know looking at it it would be nice to go a little bit lower and a little bit further back but um, I think that is the absolute limits to what I can achieve just going to chuck the seat in now and see how it feels Pedals in the car. Right, I'm going to try and clamber in. It's just not the most sophisticated car to get into. Oh. Oh. Steering wheel on. Now, the seat at the minute isn't bolted in. It is literally hitting the cross bracing on the uh, on the cage, so it will not go back any further than this this is as far back as this seat goes so the pedals as they are the clutch is all the way back on the stop and slightly bent legged and that is as far as that goes so I mean I can I could move the pedal box forwards I mean backwards towards me a little bit um, but I think as that is at the minute that's okay. Um, obviously, like I say, the seat is as far back as it goes. I could edge it forwards 10 15 mil, make it a bit more comfortable so I can play with the seat position easily. You know, that is around about where there will be. Brake pedal might be slightly more forward like that. So, that is a fairly comfortable position for me. Um, like I say, that is back on the Clutch stop, throttle pedal, pedal. I can get it to the stop, but again, that's adjustable. Don't need to be as far away as that. The leg is fairly straight there, um, and brake should only move a little bit. So, you know, fingers crossed, it only moves a little bit. If it goes all the way down to the floor, I'm in trouble. But yeah, that should be fine like that. That's quite good. All I've got to do is weld the floor back up. And patch all that hole up and um, bolt the thing in and then it's on to running all of the brake lines okay I have just cut a bit more out the floor uh, as you can just about see um, tidied up all the edges and there goes my phone cool so um, now I am going to make a cardboard template to make a flat section here um, to mount the pedal box, so I'll crack on with that now.
and there we are that is my cardboard template so um, that will obviously get welded around here around the bottom here and along here welded on the inside here up here and round uh, and then I'll probably close off that open end there I'll close that off once this is in um, as you can see this is where the uh, the front subframe comes through. Um, I'm not planning on the uh, pedal box to go any further back than that. Um, it actually stops stops around here. But the reason why I've gone slightly further is one, it makes it easier to to blank off there uh, rather than going over this. Uh, and also, I actually have to have the throttle cable running around the back here, so it just makes it slightly easier if I've got a bit more space. All I've got to do is transfer this to a bit of steel. I've got some, I think it's about three mil plate because it needs to be obviously relatively solid because I don't want the uh, don't want the brake pedals falling off the car. So uh, yeah, I'll uh, I'll get that done in a bit. We'll see how that goes. So that has been cut out. I was unsure whether I'm going to fold these or cut them and weld them so if you've ever wondered what this is on the edge of my workbench it is a homemade cheap boulder it's not the best it struggles with the thick stuff I'm gonna give it a go if it doesn't work out I'll just cut them off and uh, and weld them so I'd rather it in one piece because it'd just be stronger but I'll, uh, I'll give it a go quick she's done like that If anyone does want to give me a proper bender, please feel free. Oh. Well, it's done it, but it's um, it's got a fair old radius on it. It's not it's not nice and clean as I was hoping it would be, but it it might just do the job. I'll try and clean it up in the vice with a uh, bit of a love tap here and there, just. Little bits like that, but yeah, I'll um, I'll clean this up with a flat wheel and uh, see how well that fits. Okay, come take a look at this because this stuff never normally happens to me. That plate has gone in there like that almost perfectly. First time, all I've done is cleaned up a couple of edges uh, with a flat wheel, and that's virtually gone in there perfectly. First time, so the only things that I need to look at is this plate here I've bent this slightly too much there's a bit of a gap around the back so um, I'm going to flatten that out a little bit and I think there's a bit of a interference here but that that's gone in really really well um, and all I was doing here was seeing how this was going to fit and you see I'm going to go back as far as the subframe bolt just to there and then I've got some space then to um, drill a few more holes, put a few more captive nuts in the back, uh, and then these will become adjustable and I'll be able to move them towards the driver um, up, up, to about, up to about there, really, um, just in case I've got any midgets that want to come and have a go in the car. Um, but yeah, that's almost a miracle. I say stuff like that doesn't normally happen to me I'm normally here for hours and hours shaving off tiny little bits at a time but um, I'm sure I'll uh, I'll regret saying all this because it's probably going to be a pain in the ass to come but yeah I was quite happy with that so um, what do I need to do? I need to flatten out that plate. I'm just going to mark up just to make sure there aren't any other bits that are interfering. Shave them off with the flat wheel and go from there. Start running some holes so I can mount the pedal box to it. 
Well, they're all drilled now, and I've found 25 nuts and bolts to go through. Notice that these last two don't match the rest. Um, unfortunately, I only had 23 of these. What I'll do now is I'll tack these to the bottom so they're all captive. What I've also been doing in the meantime is I have cleaned up all the areas um, where I'm going to be welding inside the car. So uh, there's um, not much left to do but get this welded up, um, test it in the car, make sure none of these bolts, well, the nuts anyway, uh, interfere with anything on the, uh, on the underside and weld the thing in. So I'll get these uh, welded on now quickly. Okay, I've just thrown some weld through primer on the uh, on the plate. Um, I did try it in here, um, and the warpage is not going to help matters. Um, fortunately, I think I can weld a few sections and and push it down into place and and weld that. So whilst that dries out there, I'm going to um, get a bit on the inside here. Um, obviously once the plate's on I won't be able to access these areas um, and they'll be exposed so I'm going to stick some of this on and um, just the areas that I think I won't be able to get to crack on that now so just gotta wait for that to dry um, in the meantime I'll set up the, uh, the old Sabora MIG here we are then, the, uh, the paint has dried, um, mostly anyway, uh, and the plate is in and you can see how much that has warped and that is all over the place now, which is, is uh, quite annoying because that fitted really, really well. So I'm, I'm going to try and get it in place best I can where it was fitting or where I remember it fitting and try and kind of jam it in there and tack it in place. I've taped over the holes because obviously I'm using the MIG welder and I don't want any of the spatter going in and ruining the threads, uh, which would be a pain in the ass after it's all welded in. Let's uh, see how this goes. Right, I am going to be honest here, I have not used the MIG welder in probably best part of two years. So we'll see how this goes. It's going to go either one or two ways. And I can, um, I can well imagine which way that's going to be. I probably should have moved this steering column as well. Would have made life a lot easier. Oh well, I'm in now. It's been a while. If I can get this tack down here, then that is pretty much flat and in position then. It doesn't fit in there half as nice as it was earlier, I'll be completely honest. I should have tried to get this to fit better. There is huge gaps everywhere. Oh, bugger. probably tell it's quite it's quite smoky in here um, we're done it's welded in it's not going anywhere but in the history of all things that didn't go particularly well this is probably up there um, in my opinion anyway <sighs> because that plate was warped um, it didn't sit where it sat before there were big gaps and it just meant the only thing that I could do was to fill it with weld. Um, some some areas went okay, and you know some some bits were all right. But if you've ever tried to weld on a lap joint on a body panel, which has got you know seam sealer and wax and all stuff like that on it, you'll understand where I'm coming from. There were almost it was almost impossible to weld um the spatter was horrendous i've probably got burns all over me um all in my head um all i've got 
loads of holes in my jumper and uh, I'll probably wake up with a load of burns on the back of my hand but without further ado here it is I've uh, already stuck some paint on there which I probably shouldn't have done because you can see the welds even worse these ones at the back are not pretty um, but it's on there these ones at the front weren't too bad and on there but yeah there was a, a decent gap all the way through here all the way down the sides um, and at the back is where I had issues where all the uh, all the panels are, are spot welded together I mean as soon as the welding wire touched it it was basically exploding but it's in there and it looks it does look relatively tidy um, the uh, the plate came out quite flat in the end um, hopefully this is dryish now so I am going to quickly bolt the pedals in and see how they look all right well the pedals are in uh, I've chucked the seat in so I can check to make sure they're in the position that I'm happy with um, and I've put the steering wheel in and yeah I'm uh, I'm quite happy with it this is how it looks so you can see uh, prop that is on the stop it's a little bit long for me um, I can adjust the throttle stop so it's a little bit closer but it doesn't hit the bulkhead and um, that is as far as this pedal set allows it to go um, brake clutch clutch stop is just there and I can I can get that quite easy I mean it's not too bad to go full throttle there but yeah okay right I'm going to end this video here um, hope you've enjoyed it if you have please hit the like button um, if you've got any questions um, ask them in the comments and I will see you next time